Hi friends, this is Pranav Shukla and today we are conducting our grammar class. As it is the first session of grammar, <coughs> uh, I would like to start with some very basic grammatical topics and our today's concern is the concept of tenses and voice. Friends, as you know, all the languages are spoken in sentences. So, mother tongues actually come very instinctively to us as we listen to the people quite commonly, quite clearly, right from the very beginning. So, we don't have to put some extra effort to learn the mother tongues. But as far as foreign languages like English is concerned, uh, especially for the people who really don't uh, expose themselves to a lot of speaking and listening. So they should have some basic grammatical knowledge, especially of sentence formation. So today we are going to discuss what are the basic elements of sentence formation. One of the basic elements is tenses. So how do they form, how do they function and how they are applied in a sentence. So today our concern is concept of tenses and voice. As it is a very long topic, so we are going to this topic in parts. This is, I can say, you can just take it as the first part of tenses and voice. First of all, <clears throat> what is tense? So, first of all, we should understand, okay, when you go for the sentence formation, sentences are actually called as group of words. They are a form of various words. All these words have got different categories. There are total 8 category words are used in a sentence. They are namely noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. But out of all these words, two types of words are very important to form a sentence. Rest of the words are, if not there in a sentence, sentence formation is still possible. But without these two types of words, sentences cannot be possible. So these two words are nouns and verbs. Friends, when you form a sentence, you have to introduce at least two words, noun and verb. Noun works as subject that performs the action and the word that shows the action is called as verb. So without the word showing action and without the doer of the action that is subject, sentence formation is not possible. But still only verb is not enough. You must have heard about verbs. Some commonly heard verbs are play, go, drink. These are some commonly used words. They are in their root forms, play, drink, etc. But friends, actions happen at various times. And uh, they also happen in different situations. So if I, if action happened in the past, suppose uh, I played a game yesterday with my friends. So if I write only I play, the play will not be suffice. So I have to change the form of that particular verb. I have to make it played instead of play. At the same time, if I am playing a game right now, so play again will not do. I have to write down am playing or is playing or are playing, something like that. If I plan to play a game in the future, so I should say I will play. They will play. So this play will be changing its form according to the time and situation. So friends, the, the verb that actually changes its form just to show the right time and situation would be called as finite verb. And according to different times and according to different situations, these finite verbs are in different forms. There are various forms of finite verbs and all these finite verbs actually indicate the right time and situation of the action so they are also called as various tenses so 
So tensis frames is actually study of different kind of finite verbs that show different times and situation of the action. So we have clear two terms. First of all, tense. So tense is called as what the study of various finite verbs. Now the question raises what is a finite verb? Finite verb, the form of verb showing exact time and situation of the action. For example, goes. So this is a form of the verb go. E is playing. So a helping verb is is added along with play added by ing. This is has done. Again, a helping verb has in the combination of the, the form done. It is actually the past participle form of do. Then was sung, would perform, will bring, drink, has got another form, drank. So all these verbs has got root form as go, play, do, sing, perform, bring, drink. But they are not used in the root forms. They change their forms. And they are given what different kind of forms along with the help of some helping verbs. And now they show different kind of time and situation. For example, this goes shows the kind of time where the action happens in general, almost in routine, daily. This verb is playing that indicates the action is going on right now. This verb has done, this shows the action is already over but the effect is on. This shows the passive voice of the action. Well, action happened in the past and here instead of subject the action that is done upon an object that object is more important this is the probability of uh, having performed or probability of performing an action will bring it shows the future of the action grant it again shows the action happened in the past so all these verbs so different kind of times and different kind of situations and this is the reason why they are called as finite verbs and this verb also at the same time belongs to different tenses and the goes is called as finite verb and belongs to a tense that is called as simple present tense so every single finite verb belongs to a certain tense or a tense is actually the study of finite verbs so these are some examples of what finite verbs. Now friends, sentence. Sentence is a group of words that give you complete sense. It also contains at least one subject, one finite verb. And subject is always a noun or pronoun. But well, if somebody performs an action, the performer of the action, the doer of the action is either a noun or the name of somebody or something or something that replaces or something that belongs to or uh, something that really uh, replaces the noun that is called as what pronoun that is used in place of noun that is called as what pronoun so subject is always a noun or pronoun sentence contains at least one subject and one finite verb now you understand, finite verb is the kind of verb that gives you exact idea about time and situation of the action. Here is, a, here is an example. Children are playing a game now. So in this, this is actually a group of words. Children are playing a game now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 words. This is a group of words. They are ordered in a proper order in a proper sequence and they make complete sense and this reason why it is called as what sentence make sure a sentence is a group of words but that group of words would give you what complete sense and complete sense is derived only when you have at least one subject and one verb name one finite verb so in this group of words children is subject it is a name of a group it is called as what? Subject. It is a noun. Common noun. And R playing it is a combination of verb that gives you the time present and situation continuous. Now in the present time the action is continued. So it is called as continuous present tense. 
So are playing is a finite verb that belongs to continuous present tense. So this verb belongs to a tense and it belongs to a tense because it is a finite verb. And if you remove either of these words, either children or are playing, sentence formation is not possible. Just imagine, if I am removing children and are playing, so the only part is left, a game now. A game now does not make complete sense. It is not called a sentence. At the same time, if I remove a game now, suppose if you hide this, this particular, this particular part, a game now, this part, and only remains children are playing, it again gives you what the complete sense. So, why these two words give you complete sense? Because they are must in a sentence. These two words are what? Subject and finite verb. Friends, one more experiment. We have subject, we have finite verb, and we have the other words. But this finite verb, if it is converted into non finite verb, it is put over there in a way where it cannot show you the right time and situation where it does not belong to any tense so see what happens if I am removing this R so it is children playing a game now so we know the action is done by children we know action playing is being performed we know children playing game we also know children playing game now but if you remove this now or if now is not there as it is an adverb, it is it is it is not absolutely needed in the sentence all the time. So right now children playing a game. So we know the subject, we know the verb, we know the object, but we don't know exactly when the action is performed. Situation is quite clear. The action is continued right now. But the time is not so clear. It can be present time, it can be past time, it can be future time. So in this situation, this is still a group of words, one, two, three, four words are there, but it does not make complete sense. It does not give you a clear idea about the time of the particular action. So again, this group of word cannot be called a sentence. And if the group of word does not give you complete sense, it is called a phrase. So it is still a phrase and cannot make a sentence. So friend, the conclusion is what? If you want to make a complete sense, if you want to make a sentence, you should at least have one subject and verb word, but verb should be a finite verb. I can say must be a finite verb. It has to be <coughs> is playing, it has to be was playing, it has to be will be playing. It should be anything like that. And now it gives you what the complete sense. So this is what we have gone through, concept of tense, tense, again the revision tense, study of various finite verbs, finite verbs, the form of verb that shows what exact time and situation of the action and this too, well, this finite verb is absolutely essential for forming sentence as sentence is a group of words that give you complete sense and complete sense is derived by containing at least one subject and one finite verb. So, this is all about what? The concept of tense. This is our first part of tense. Uh, in the next session, we are going to meet for what? Tense along with what? Voice. Thank you friends.